my name is Hans from Willenswaard. I'm Wallapau and Willenswaard. I'm originally from the Netherlands, but I came to Thailand when I met uh, Adjan Sulak, Sivaraksa, a well-known social activist here in Thailand, a Buddhist scholar. And he spoke about engaged Buddhism. And that was for me a kind of eye-opener why I tried to join his work and then I decided to settle here together with Valapa, my wife. We are based in Nontaburi, Thailand. We have a small office here and uh, our organization is called uh, Innovation Network International. When Hans and I become a first member of the Community Supported Agriculture or the CSA and that the partnership between the farmers and us as a consumer is a kind of turning point for us that we start to realize that food is so important so we stop eating outdoor but start to cook food and know what is our food from that we know our farmers and I believe that if every consumer know their farmer the food system will be healthy and sustainable. In Southeast Asia, I think uh, shows the same characteristics as all over the world, that there's a kind of uh, split between the industrial farming and the organic or the agroecology or the permaculture approach to farming. And unfortunately, these are still kind of two separate worlds. We are faced with the situation of globalization of industrial food. Everywhere we start to be monoculture or production, monopolize or monopoly of the distribution. And the consumer hardly have a real choice. So consumer choice is the myth in this era of industrial food dominance. So we have to come to build up the relationship of people in the whole supply chain again. Of course, the food system and our ecosystems are dependent, and that is called the Anthropocene, are dependent on human behavior to a very high degree. But the economic system is the dominant system, and it is profit-driven, it is self-interest-driven. And what is different from this system with the commons is that commons is community-driven. We don't think in the first place about our own interest, who were, although that is uh, included in the community interest, but the community is the first dimension of life where we drive our behavior from. Originally, in every tradition, have the notion of commons because we share, we have co-ownership, we trust, we have a peer governance, but. It more and more modernization and individualization society in particularly the commons have less and less in in the people daily life. We become a very individualistic and sense of sharing and sense of a, a community concept will diluted. So common is, is is in all aspect in life if you can recognize it. The meal, the food every day is a common because we share the earth, the soil, right? we share the air, the, the water. Our food is embedded in nature, in ecological environment. So in fact, food as a common, three meals a day mean a lot. It's if you recognize that and you want to change the broken food system, you start with your meal, the food on your plate every day, every meal. Now, if you make, want to make a good analysis of the food system, also its economic aspect, one of the things you have to do is so-called true cost analysis. So there are a lot of so-called externalities, which uh, means these are costs of cheap food, of producing tree food, which are put aside and which are not included in the real economic system. That is why we have cheap food. For example, if the food comes from far away, much of the transportation costs eh, will be subsidized in many ways. Eh. So you don't see the real costs of food uh, importing from far. 
and you also don't see the cost of pollution of the environment. Uh, the runoff of the, the chemicals in, in, in the water and the, the degradation of the soil fertility, that is not uh, included in the price of the present price of food. So uh, the whole uh, economic analysis is um, distorted. That's why we feel that we can make food cheap, the effect is more expensive. Cheap food is the most expensive in three uh, components. The first that the cheap food means health costs. The cheap food means environmental costs. The cheap food means social costs. Because the cheap food creates the NCD, non-communicable disease. People ill from the lifestyle, from the way they eat food, like cancer diabetes, more sugar, more fat, more salty. So cheap food is create bad health and that is become health expenditure. Secondly, the cheap food is push the external factor that you harm the nature, you harm the water, you harm the air, the soil. That is environmental cause. And the cheap food is exploitation at the lowest of the food supply chain. The farmer suffer from the low or exploited price to the farmer. So this is the whole aspect of the myth of the cheap food. People think that it's more secure to leave the food system in the hands of the big corporations. But uh, that is not, that is a kind of uh, fake security. The security of healthy communities, so and food produced by healthy communities, that security is much uh, more real and that you discover when you have um, a disaster flood or, or a pandemic and so on, then you discover how important your community is. And if we depend only on the big corporations, and they also sometimes try to do their best, eh? I don't want them to make them the big enemy, but they cannot provide the security which uh, arises from, from genuine community life. The point to have affordable, healthy or organic food that you need to create local food movement where you have short supply chain, you have direct access, direct link, and that's where you can have affordable, healthy food. You need to have a, a close relationship with your farmer. If you ask whether we have food as a common in Thailand, a lot, plenty, where the community spirit is still there. They have a social capital where the relationship of people is still there. So the commons have three aspects. First aspect, that you, you believe in the ability that you can self-organize. You show that you have potential to self-organize and that leads to peer governance. Second aspect of common is that you have a kind of co-ownership. You sharing. Right? And the third aspect of common is building trust. It means the relationship and the inner development. These three aspects of commons. Young people, uh, once they become aware, and that happens at uh, different ages or, and by triggered by different uh, happenings or circumstances, but usually they, they get a, a moment that they really become aware of their situation. Uh, we are now a world, a global community, and our identity is not determined by nation states, uh, not by race, not by economic uh, standards and so on, but by our, our, our identity is based by Earth as an ecosystem for which we have to take care and which will take care of us if we take proper care of Earth. Uh, this is a, a question of young people and food is dear to my heart. I have worked with uh, four organizations, a small project called Young Food. And how you make the young people to understand the food in front of them. We challenge the young people to come out with a food menu, how to design your food 
food design. And they have to, uh, if they create the menu, they need to link with the elders people. And the younger and elder become bridging because the elder have the knowledge of the, 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 the local food, like why the young people come with their kind of their new design. My message to people who are interested in food and farming is that food is the focal point of ecosystem restoration. If we want to tackle climate change, we have to start from food and see food as a food system. And food system leadership has to develop in the context of the commons. People will see that working on the soil is mean working in the whole planet, on the whole world as well. So I, I would say that though your work in the farm is very small, but small is beautiful and very essential in life. You find the meaning in the small thing.